Uh, Y'all see, I got the cut on me, though. Nigga had to go get a motherfucking cut, you heard me? But yeah, we back on this NBA Street video. I told y'all I'm gonna bring a whole lot of content this week, dog. We're really gonna bring a whole lot of throwback content this week. I done recorded NBA Street Volume 2, NBA Street V3, which is the gameplay that we're gonna have today. And I recorded NBA 2K11. You guys know that that's the best 2K game. So yes, man. We'll go ahead and get into this. I hope you guys are having a very good day. I'm having a real good day. I know I'm talking fast. I'm finally feeling a lot better. Feeling way better. I'm not coughing as much as I was previously. And uh, hold on. I, I got to mute this, y'all. I got to mute this because I forgot. Like for some reason when I was recording the gameplay, it's like the commentary, like the live commentary was kind of behind. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and, and just do it like this, bro. Make it easy. So we're going to play against Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, and Kenyon Marty. Um, like I said, if you guys are watching the video, you guys comment down your favorite NBA Street game. You can you can uh, vote between the first three and home court. That was for 360 and PS3. Home court was a good game, but the problem about the story mode was it was too slow. I think I see Webb on the screen. The loading screens were very fast on this game, too. There's my street ball player. Made my guy seven foot seven. You know, he got the height that Yao Ming, but plays like KD, you know. How it's supposed to be at the Rucker Park. Um, I did play this on the easiest setting because I'm getting used to the game again. I'm, I'm actually still used to this game. When, when I was playing Volume 2, yeah, Volume 2, um... I played that on God Game because I, I just play on Legendary all the time as a kid. But I gotta, um, I gotta redo the gameplay and stuff so I can remember how to play on Legendary because Legendary mode is hard as hell, son. Back then it wasn't hard, but now I gotta get back to learning the controls again. But yeah, V3 um, was a very good installment for NBA Street. Like, I like the clothes and all that, but they could have had a better selection of shoes. Because, like, I don't, like, like no disrespect to Reebok or none, or, like, none of the athletes that, that wear Reeboks. You would not catch me wearing no Reeboks, dog. Like, I'm a Nike guy or a Jordan guy or whatever, bro. But, yeah, in this game, it was so easy to get game breakers, as you guys see right here in this clip. The game breakaway in this motion was so better. Kevin Garnett throwing that down with ease. So I liked about it because if you dunk the ball with like a famous NBA player, it show out like, like their nickname on there. So that was kind of dope for the game right there. But you can't forget about the NBA Street Volume 2 game breakers because those are iconic. But V3 just took it to a whole different level in the game. Look at that. I'm, I'm just throwing that trick stick around. I'm just going crazy with it. And I do play with a wireless controller too. This is the controller that I use for my uh, PS2 gameplays right here. A wireless controller. Real nice controller. I got it from GameStop, I think, for like $30. But like I said, I'm, I'm bringing so much throwback gameplay on my channel. So it's going to be a pretty lit week, bro. I'm, I, I might upload 2K11 tomorrow because I, I got to edit the gameplay. The gameplay is like 43 minutes long. You guys know how long those were. And once again, we get another game breaker. And Kevin Garnett, of course, is going to finish it off. Because I'm a big Kevin Garnett fan. I actually like the Timberwolves because of Carl Towns. Uh, who else is on there? Andrew Wiggins. You know. But yeah, we killed this team. Even though the difficulty was on easy. We still destroyed it. You got to remember, I have not played PS2 in like a couple months. Then last time I played PS2 was like in... November or, or October, it was one of those. Cause like I said in my previous video, like when I was playing, bro, like when I was playing uh, NBA Street, or no, when I was playing NBA 2K18, I was getting tired of the game. So I wouldn't go buy me a 360 out of my own pockets, bro, so I could play 2K11 again. Then Vintage Stock was having deals we buy, uh, we buy two, get one free. So I took advantage of that opportunity. And that's why I got all these games now, but I've been having V3 forever. I had V3 since it first came out on PS2. So that was like in 2004, 2005. You guys can tell because the roster is kind of updated. That's one thing about this game. We, we, we actually have matching jerseys and everything. Like the top was correct, 
and all that. I actually, I did change my uh, attire on these games. Who texted me? I don't know who that is. That might be Fozil. With the jump shot right there, my guy has an automatic jumper. Now nah, we coming. But I, I think my favorite, like, like non-players to use, except for myself, is either Kobe Bryant, Stretch, Bonafide, and probably Carmelo and LeBron in them, and Vince Carter. Cause those are the top best guys in the game. Cause like, like you guys saw in the beginning, the, the, the little rep meter, if your rep says 999, that means you got maxed out rep. And that determines, really determines how good you are in the game. So yeah, as I'm doing freestyle tricks right there in the middle of the court, looking like it's an M1 mixtape. Hey, you guys forget, I have that game as well. And I got street hoops. I, I pretty much got all like street basketball games for PS2. Cause those games are like my childhood. Uh, man, we was killing these boys though. Like for real, son. Doing all these dribbles, dribbles, throwing up off niggas' heads. I, I, I try to be way too flashy at that particular moment, but it happens. Cause like, I was trying to get a game breaker to win anyway. You know, you got you got to end it. You got to end it with a game breaker, bro. Cause cause it will not feel right if you don't do that. But who wants to end the game off a of dunk? Nah, oh, bro. You better do a game breaker to win. It's only right. Kobe Bryant just try to just try to diddy bop on KG. He tried to. But I'm already just throwing up hella tricks. Trying to get a game breaker, trying to go into the paint. My controller is kind of messed up on this analog part because I have not used it in forever. And we get the dunk right there to win, bro. That's how you do it. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and stay flight for more content. Let's get it. All right, stack your bread. Get it.